Hey guys, welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Today I have another video for you. Um, you all know that you can change the background on Windows. You can set up your own photo that you want to be displaying. You can set up your own special color that you want. Or if you want, you can even create your own slideshow of photos to be displayed. But did you know that sometimes you may want this to be restricted? Sometimes they don't want it to be edit on education areas or in business and it's because of putting unprofessional backgrounds and you all know what I'm talking about. Um, so to prevent from this from happening that you can change them, I'm going to show you two different type of ways. The first one I'll be showing you is GP edit, it's basically group policy editing. And the second one will be registry editor, that's reg edit. And I'm basically showing you the first one because it's a very simple one and this will be a making it easy for um, Windows 10 Pros, um, Enterprises, or Education um, operating systems. Um, so let's go ahead and get that one first. The first thing you do is go to Start, or you can just go to the search bar if you have it open, and just type in gpedit.msc. And then you'll see this selection just randomly appear. Go ahead and select it. I'm going to go ahead and expand this and probably slide this a little bit that you can see. Next thing you do is go to user configurations, then go to administrative templates. You will then select control panel and you have to continue selecting to open up the folders. And next will be personalizations. From this list, you see there's choices that you can disable, prevent from changes for other ones. The one that we're looking for is to prevent changing desktop backgrounds. Let's go ahead and select it. You can double tap it or you can right click on it. Um, they'll basically come out the same place and what you're going to do is enable this when you enable this it'll prevent changing the desktop backgrounds I'm going to go ahead and press apply and OK now I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this right now and we're going to go ahead and go to personalize and it's telling me that some of the settings managed by your organizations is preventing it from happening and you can see it I can't do anything now to re-enable that you would follow the same steps by going to group policy editor and same locations going to administrative control panel actually I'll go ahead and exit out just to show you go to start type in gpedit.msc and you open it and it doesn't usually remember where you're last on so you would have to go to the location again user configurations and administer templates control panel and personalizations and you see that the prevent changing desktop background is enabled. Go ahead and click it again. And you can select not configured or you can disable it. They will do the exact same steps. Press apply and OK. Be sure you press apply. Sometimes you just press OK. The changes may not happen. Um, that's happened before to me. Next, we're going to go to personalize and we have access to it again. Now, the other way that you can do this is using reg edit. Um, Reg edit is using the registry editor and if you ever knew like tricks that's been out there on Windows XP in the beginning that was lots of features that people used to do um, but to do this is very simple same way steps but a little bit more steps to get to that folder so you would go to there and go to the start and type in reg edit you would probably be prompt to run this and you would have to press yes if you wanted to edit Next thing you want to do is go to, you actually have two choices. You can use the current user or you can go to local machine. I'm just going to choose the local machine one. And then you would follow the same folders literally all the way through to software, to Microsoft, to all the way down to Windows. As you see, it's taking a lot more time versus using just the GP edit. And next you would go and select current version. Then scroll all the way down where you see policies. I just saw it, there it is. Then you'll then see a folder called Active Desktop. And if it's there, you would see no changing wallpaper. But if it's not, you would have to create a new one. If you just, just simply right click on it, the, the wonderful white area basically you're seeing open spots. And you'll select a new D word. You will name this file called No Changing sorry changing wallpaper and by default right now on zero it's telling you that you can edit the background what photo you want 
Now, when you're gonna do a simple little trick and are gonna just open the file and put that value from zero to one. And I'm gonna go ahead and X this out just to show you. And I'm gonna go to personalize. And it tells me that some settings are managed by your organizations. And basically it's restricted from registry. Now you can go to reg edit again. And you'll go to yes. And just, you have options right here that you can delete the file or you can just change the value. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the value there and press okay. And I exit it out and let's go to personalize and it seems that you can edit the background again. But that's basically it. I'll probably also give you a shortcut to download the registry because it'll be a lot easier if you just download the file and run it and probably send you another one that we can prevent it coming being restricted so you can allow it or restrict. Uh, but that's basically it. Thank you for watching from Hilton's Computer Repair and I'll see you on our next video.